Okay, let's move on to uh, chapter 12, um, which is uh, titled Linear Regression. So uh, this is a little different than uh, what we've done in previous chapters, because in this chapter we're actually going to turn our attention to two sample data sets um, obtained by sampling two variables. Um, we'll call, uh, we'll denote one variable as x, and that will be uh, what we'll call the independent variable, and the other variable is, is y, which will represent the, the dependent variable. Um, and um, uh, generally, uh, our, uh, we'll have um, pairs of observations, in particular, um, a sample, a complete data set will consist of n pairs of observations, which will denote uh, x1, y1 as one pair, x2, y2 as a second pair, and so on and so forth, up to xn and yn. Um, again, um, it might be height and weight of an individual, or um, um, high school GPA and college GPA, uh, it might be, um, you know, foot size and IQ um, uh, for each different individual. Um, let's look at, you know, just a simple example of X and Y uh, pairs. I'm not going to give any meaning to this, but this, let's say our X data just has, um, consists of these values. It's 2.9. And our corresponding y values are 22, 41, 58, and 82. Okay. Um, we, when we're deal, dealing with paired data sets like this, we, we typically visualize them using what's known as, as a scatter plot. scatter plot. So, and this is my x-axis and my y-axis. My y data goes from 0 up to about 80. So let me make corresponding tick marks here. 80, 40, 0, 20, and 60. My x data goes from 0 to just a little over 4. So let me make corresponding tick marks here. 2, 3, so in a scatter plot, we don't draw lines between the data points. We we just we just actually sketch the data points. So 1.2 and 1 and 22, that point would be there. 2 and 41 is going to be a point about right there. 2.9 and 58 would be about right there, and then 4.1 and and 82. Of course, it's going to this is going to look a lot nicer if we uh, uh, use a computer. Um, in particular, we'll look at using Octave to do this, and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. But what we're going to focus on is, is actually in, in this model, we're looking for a relationship between y and x. In particular, in this, in this chapter, we're going to focus on is there a linear relationship between y and x. Um, these points don't fit exactly a straight line, but they do appear to be uh, close to, there does appear to be a, a linear relationship between y and x for, for the given data. So let's actually look at producing an, a nicer plot using uh, Octave. And we'll take a look at um, example uh, 12.1 from the textbook. This is, this is on page uh, 470 of the textbook. Um, the X data here is the width of an individual's eye opening, and the Y data is the corresponding ocular surface area. The data set is in file exp 12-01.txt, which is in our data set archive. And if you op open that up and look at it, you'll see there are actually three columns of data here. There's the observation number, which goes from 1 to 30, and then the X data, and then a comma, and then the Y data. So we can read the data in using the same DLM read function that we've used in the past. 
Um, you know, the one here means skip the first row, which contains the labels. So after this line, uh, data will be actually a, a matrix that has 30 rows and three columns. Um, we're interested in just the second column, which is our X data, and the third column, which is our Y data. So lines 9 and 10 here in the script set X equal to the second column and set Y equal to the third column. And then to, to do a scatter plot, it's simply just the, the one line scatter X comma Y. So if I run that, it produces this particular graph. And again, we see that this there seems to be, again, a, a, a linear relationship between uh, Y and X. Certainly all the data points don't fall exactly on, on, a, on a straight line. There is some randomness or some deviation from a, a straight line. But we're interested in finding the equation of that, that line that best fits our, our, our given data. And that would allow us to you know, predict values of the Y data for any particular X um, would be uh, uh, one use of a line. Um, the fact that even the, the line exists tells us that there is some relationship between, um, between the, the Y and X data here. Um, so we'll look at uh, that particular linear model in the next video. Um, the data set and this M file I will post under today's lecture, so you may, may want to try and um, uh, download uh, the M file and the data file and run this and, and make sure you can re reproduce the plot.